All right, tubers, I got the door in position here. You can see that I have a gap over here. I don't have any hinges. It's just sitting in position right now. But this here, I used a half lap on this also. This is the center of the cross buck. A lot of guys, they don't do that. They just, because it's just more or less decoration, they just cut it even and that's what you get. But I wanted a half half lap on there because I think it's if better. If you look at the top, there's hardly any gap at all. And as you go down, the gap gets bigger. You're gonna, you're, you're, I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, how the hell is this guy, or one guy gonna do that? Well, I'll show you. In the vise, right here, I have a piece of all thread. And I'm going to cut it right now. I cut this piece of all thread about 20 inches long or so. And I'm running this nut down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of pipe on the end and put the end of the all thread up against the door jam on the opposite side of the door that I'm installing. Okay? And then I'm gonna, the pipe will go over this like so. It'll, it'll go over that and it'll go down to where the nut is. Okay? And then I will back the nut off, which will push the pipe outwards and push the door up against the door jam. Then I can install my hinges. I'll do that on the top and the bottom. And that's how I'm going to do that by myself. All right, now watch my homemade tool work its magic. Yep, let's see how that, that took that gap right off. That's wonderful. Now I can put my hinges on there and I'm good to go. There you go, tubers. Hey, tubers. Just another note on this. This is kind of a review on this uh, Harbor Freight pass-through socket set. But, uh, this is a three-quarter inch socket that which would fit more than enough for the half inch all thread. And I don't know whether you can see, but you can't put that all the way through. I was going to use that to run that nut for the uh, for the thing. I ended up using a crescent wrench. So that's a little tip for anybody that wants to buy those pass-through sets. I really like it. It's just that it didn't fit this particular application. All right, tubers. 
First we have to determine the thickness of our door here. And I don't know whether you can see that. That's two and an eighth inch. That's two and an eighth inches. Okay. So now that we have our thickness of our door, we're going to check another measure. And we are looking at 34 and 3 sixteenths. Okay. That's what we're looking at, at, at to the door from the jam. Okay, tubers, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but I laid out the, I laid out the door on a piece of paper, the opening. Now what we're going to want to do is subtract right off the bat an eighth of an inch, because that's what I want to keep it away from the jam. To less complicate things, I'm going to subtract 3 sixteenths of an inch because I want I want an eighth at the jam and I want a sixteenth at where it's going to meet the other door. And then we're going to work on the hypotenusis. And I'll explain that. Alright, I, I wrote my figures down on uh, white paper tubers so you can see it easier. We're going to figure out the hypotenusis hypotenusis, which is the angle from one corner to the other corner. Alright, that's with the two numbers added together that they have been squared. Now you take and you get the square root of that number, which I will get, get you in a few seconds. All right, there is your hypotenusis, and I will show you what that is. That is the measurement from this point all the way up to this corner across. You measure that, and you make your line wherever that lines up because that's going to be longer because you're going on an angle in fact I'll tell you what that's going to be in a second so it averaged out to 34 and a 16th inch long diagonally so what you need to do is take that corner because if you don't it's going to hit the other door when you go to open it you need to take, I'm going to take 3 sixteenths off of mine, which will give me an eighth of an inch clearance. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Here's what I did here. I took the 3 sixteenths off of that, which gave me 33.875. Or if you don't know how to figure that out, it's 33 and 7 eighths. So now when I build my door, I'm going to cut the edge on a slight angle. So it'll clear the other door. If there's any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. Hi tubers. I'm cleaning up a half lap joint here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with the hammer and knock all of those off of there. And then I'm going to clean it up with the router. I already cleaned that right off with the router because the, the base on the router to go all that way from from way back here to here is too unstable. Unless I put some 2x4s alongside it and that wouldn't be quite as accurate as running right off of what I have here. 
Alright, I'm gonna clean that up now. them nails on the other side and I got glue on the other side and uh, in between uh, the uh, two by three and the uh, piece of fiber. And I already got the head around. This is the true foot of it. Well tubers here's the uh, door. I got it uh, finished other than clenching the nails on the cross box and hanging it. And I can hang it tomorrow. I did a half lap on everything. So, it took a little while, but I got it done. Well, tubers, this concludes part two of this making of the cross buck doors. The only thing I got to do is throw some door stops on the inside with some water hose to seal it. And this project's complete. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check the thumbs up box.